Hey guys, Tony Skinjui here with day five of the Free to Play series. We're still going hard on those defenders, so all we have to do is make sure we unlock Jessica Jones and work towards unlocking the Iron Fist farm node. I'm gonna get through some of these dailies. Let's go straight to Jessica Jones. Great, one star, but that's all we need. Let's give her the level up treatment, make sure she's on par with the rest of the team. Great, we completed some of our dailies while leveling Jessica, so we'll collect them, make sure we don't pass the level threshold, and get an arena run in. As expected, we got the arena win. Uh, right now, we're gonna start working on Daredevil. We can usually get about one and a half to two Daredevil purchases a day, so it's gonna take about eight to 10 days to unlock him. No real worries though. He's the last piece of the Defender's puzzle we need, so we're just focusing on him. The other characters in the arena store are also important, but we're gonna wait till we unlock Daredevil before we worry about unlocking Quake, Mordo, and Drax. And as we've discussed before, there's no downside to trying harder challenges, so we're just going to try to push the gold challenge right now. Well, I could try this tier 5, but it's a little bit higher than my level, so while it may be worth it, I think it's best to just take the gold now. As for the medical supply run challenge, we're gonna need that after we do our blitz run, so now's as good a time as any to get that done. And while we're here, we may as well do a full Blitz rotation, spend as much as we can, maybe open some Blitz orbs. Gotta do it sometime. That's good enough for now. Let's collect one of these, level up, start powering up our characters again. It's important to note that right now at this early level, I have plenty of money, so spending it on powering up characters is not gonna set me back at all. When we get to around level 40 and, and higher, it's not gonna be as easy to power level your main team. You're gonna have some, some gold shortages, you're gonna need to use it a little bit wiser, but for now, we could just bring everybody where they need to be. Take a quick look at events. Uh, we're not going to be able to do Chasing Fury, and this Relic Hunt event requires five hand characters. We can't have five by the time it's ready, 
but we definitely can work on her. She's going to be important for later in the villain, and maybe even in the mystic, depending on how our RNG works. Now it's time to give the Iron Fist note a try. We've powered up our team. Might work, I'm not super confident, but we know we're gonna get it eventually, so let's just see what we're in for. Not super disappointed. Uh, Night Nurse is another important character, so I'll just use my time to try to three-star this node. Hopefully we'll be able to unlock her in time to start doing some major raids in a little bit. Great, let's spend the energy, try to farm some more of her, and while we're at it, let's work on some other characters we could use. Day 5 feels a little less eventful than the other days, but we've made our progress. We've unlocked Jessica Jones, we've unlocked the ability to farm Night Nurse, we've started to farm Daredevil Shards, and we're now going to focus on the Iron Fist 3 star node. It's also pretty important that we make sure all the characters are at a power level close to each other, so we're going to have to spend some time gearing up Jessica Jones, but we can do that with our free energy a little bit later. And as always, we'll end it by looking at how much we've grown. Hasn't been a great jump, but it's a noticeable jump, especially when you look at our power compared to the rest. All in all, for a slow day, I'm happy with our progress. And as always, if you enjoyed these videos and would like to see more, like, comment, and subscribe. 
Any questions, comments, or advice, feel free to follow me on twitch.tv slash Tony